Do your gay says, what is up? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Hey, to all the Yankee fans, the Puerto Rican Yankee fans, I hope you enjoyed the Puerto Rican parade, the festivals. Some of my Puerto Rican friends were hitting me up. Oh, we're on your block. Come down. This is at 2 a.m. in the morning. And I'm like, shoot, guys, I'm not Puerto Rican, so I forgot it was a Puerto Rican festival. But really, I'm regretting it because it looks like they had fun. Poppy, calm down, Poppy. Let's get some females, Poppy. Let's set up the club, Poppy. <laughs> so, Yankees fans, let's talk about Gary Sanchez and his, I wouldn't even call it a slump. I'm, I'll call it more of a horrible season. Some people might make the case and say, hey, Gary Sanchez has been hitting home runs. His RBIs are pretty decent. Sure, I can see their angle, but um, one, what is his batting average now? 190? 190, wow. But we expect Gary to supposedly snap out of that and have a strong finishing. I know he will. But for now, somebody needs to be sacrificed in the lineup. And that player looks like Hicks. I would start Gardner in center field. First of all, I would move Gary to the seventh or six hole in the lineup, or maybe even eighth. Who knows? He's struggling that bad, folks. I mean, Andahor is just running circles around Gary Sanchez. So if you paid attention to the game on Sunday, Alex Rodriguez was pretty much infuriated with Gary Sanchez because really Gary's like his protege. He has given him pointers here and there, and he seemed pretty upset, which in my opinion, he should be. Because Gary Sanchez, we know what kind of player Gary Sanchez can be and could be. So to get him out of this slump, obviously, catching is just destroying this dude's body. He is not built to catch. Just look at his body. He's more of a DH. He really reminds me of David Ortiz. He doesn't mean to be slow, but he just looks like a slow player. This is where his trouble is coming when it comes to catching. He's just slow. He doesn't mean to be slow. He's just built like that. So, in my opinion, Gary Sanchez is not going to last as a catcher on the major league level. And I can see why people would call him lazy. It's because he's slow. He's not, let's say, like your typical catcher where they have cat-like instincts and they can track the ball faster than Gary Sanchez. Gary Sanchez, like I said, is just built that way. And it makes him look like he's lazy. And we all know the Yankees are seeing into the future. This is why they're drafting catchers. They, they see Gary Sanchez is not their future catcher. I mean, the Yankees hold the record for, what, pass balls or wild pitches? And that stat is really the fault of Gary Sanchez behind the plate. So what I was thinking about since 2018, since this roster is already occupied in the DH area, with John Carlos Stanton rotating between left field and DH, the old man now obviously has to be Hicks. You put Gardner in center field because Gardner is more consistent or has been more consistent than Aaron Hicks. You put Gary in that DH spot and let him recover. Obviously, this season has taken a toll on him. Obviously, you have to sacrifice playing defense. Make him a full-time DH for maybe close to a month. Let him figure himself out because I know for a fact that if he continues to offensively struggle, that also might affect how he plays defense. Imagine if he just becomes as horrendous, more horrendous playing defense as he is offensively. Yankee fans are just going to destroy him. So give Gary Sanchez that DH slot. Also, some Yankees fans are complaining about Marcus Thames. They say he's messing up Stanton. They say he's messing up um, Sanchez, even uh, Didi, etc. I could get the angle there too. And I can also see the angle of the other people that are saying, Gary Sanchez, if you could trade him for an ace, you'd do it. So I can see all angles. So realistically, what the Yankees need to do with Gary Sanchez is, like I said, move him up the lineup, have him hit 7th, 6th, or 8th, 7th, Seems more reasonable. So let's say the Yankees do do that and he continues to struggle for like two straight weeks more. Do you call him down to the minor leagues? People might make the case that they should. 
because, like I said, his defense plus his offense, that's a recipe to call him down to the minor leagues. It's just the logical thing to do. So if you make those moves and Gary continues to struggle, you might see Gary Sanchez down in AAA for like more than a week or two weeks to fix him up mechanically. His timing must be off. Something is wrong with Gary Sanchez. Also, folks, Marcus Thames, as a hitting coach, he just came out of nowhere. Yeah, he came up through the Yankees minor league system, but people are making the case that there's better personnel in the Yankees minor league system that deserve that hitting coach job more than Marcus Thames. And I can see the argument there as well. Also, Yankees fans, talking realistically, in my opinion, and don't get mad, if the Yankees don't see Gary Sanchez as their future catcher, there's a strong possibility that he might be traded to another team. Might not happen at the trade deadline. Or let's say Gary Sanchez just has a full, horrible year. It might happen in the offseason. We've seen fan favorites get traded before. Brian Cashman has traded away fan favorites. So don't be surprised if Gary has a bad season overall and he's shipped out of New York if the Yankees don't see him as their long-term solution as catcher. So that's the only way I can see Gary Sanchez being flipped for, let's say, pitching. So Yankees fans, like always, leave your comments in the comment section below. Obviously, I think we all agree that the Yankees need to move him to the 7th hole, 8th, 6th, whatever, get him fixed. But do you think he should be their, let's say, month-long DH or, let's say, plug him in there for like two weeks? Do you think the Yankees should give the DH job to Sanchez? Have Stanton play left field or rotate Stanton and Sanchez in DH, but give Sanchez more at-bats in DH? I mean, like I said, the Yankees need to sacrifice six. They need to sacrifice somebody to get Gary Sanchez going. So, like always, Yankees fans, this has been Felix from M1Y News.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.